Okay, let's see how pretty I am. Mm, it's still kind of scary. Well, I can't sleep. It's about 4 o'clock in the morning. And I think I got up to pee probably 10 times last night. So, let's see what the scale says. Can you see me? It's still gorgeous. Here we go. Oh, I weigh zero pounds. That's awesome. It's <laughs> about how I feel right now. 139.4. I was 138 last show, so probably get close to that. My abs are definitely a lot leaner than they were at the beginning of this week. Has totally to do with the carb cut. So my legs are looking alright too. I did not have any of that separation last show, which is cool because I've been working hard on my quads. Um, but carbs hold water, so when you pull carbs, they're going to naturally, you're naturally going to drop weight because they hold water. I believe it's four grams, carbs hold four grams per gram, four grams of water. I don't know, I'm half asleep, you guys. Um, so tomorrow I'm going to carb load and that means I get all kinds of carbs. But I'm actually, you guys, I'm not that carb deprived, to be honest. I know it probably looks like it. Um, but I had, I'll screenshot my MyFitnessPal from yesterday. I think I had 130 grams of carbs. I had some peanut M&Ms last night before bed. Granted, it's just like a snack size, a Halloween bag snack size. Um, and a mini Almond Joy. And I had my protein pancakes. I totally forgot to get that on video because I was in the midst of having a really good deep conversation with my son about a Justin Bieber spoof thing. So, um, yeah. All right. Let's see how the day goes. I get my butt wax today. Yes, my butt. Literally my butt cheeks. So we'll see if I can get that on video. And you guys will get to meet Tina, my, my fabulous waxer. All right. How about them abs, though? <gasps> Alrighty, while my coffee is heating up, I'm going to fill up my pill case. Uh, these are the supplements I'm taking this week. Not much changes this week with the exception of increased potassium citrate. This is just going to help me while I'm doing <laughs> obscene amounts of water and help me with uh, keeping electrolyte balance and uh, reduce muscle cramping, just kind of keep everything in harmony during this week while I'm messing with a lot of variables. Uh, probiotic, CLA, berberine, this uh, helps blunt the effect of... Um, helps manage insulin, I should say. So uh, the insulin spike that a lot of us are concerned with when we eat certain foods, I take two of these a day. Uh, omegas, critical to, that everyone take an omega because we are more than likely not consuming enough as a whole. Uh, St. John's wort for mood, and um, been taking that for over a year. 5-HTP also helps with mood, but it helps with sleep. So I take two of these per night. Um, Thorn makes this great detox uh, supplement. It's six pills a day, which is kind of a pain in the ass, but uh, it definitely has a lot of stuff that I won't have to take. So all this extra stuff I'm not having to take. So like vitamin D, E, K, thiamine, all those kind of things. Um, I do add a little bit of extra vitamin C, although this one does have it, uh, just for extra protection. It helps with cellular repair. And also there's been a lot of sick people around me lately and um, knock on some really thick wood that I have not got sick. And uh, Yohimbine, I use this. I've used this, I think this was probably one of the biggest dial mark, uh, movers for fat loss, this prep. Uh, between this and uh, berberine, and honestly tracking my macros really, but uh, Yohimbine has been great. So I do, and this is injectable. I used to work in the medical field, so it doesn't freak me out to do uh, vitamin injections. So I do this, I also have B12, which I didn't pull out, but um, cause I do that once a week, but I do Yohimbine every day, one cc. And then um, magnesium citrate this week only because um, going to the bathroom is a challenge when you're low on fiber. So this helps and it's the most natural way to go instead of um, a stool softener. So I re I'd rather go here first and then I use the stool softener as last resort. So I'm gonna do this, drink some coffee and get ready for uh, some work before my son's awake at seven. What'd you get? 54. More homeschooling. He's doing math. 
which is Ayo. not my forte, not gonna lie. This is how I'm getting my water in today. But doing I'm some work. And this is a day in the life. It's super thrilling. This natural light is awful. So I could not film about wax for you guys. I, I'm really sorry. I'm sure you're really looking forward to that. But Tina got a little too close for comfort this time. She's been great. All of them are business. So I'm here getting uh, a little bit of cardio in and going to do some light hamstrings and tinker around just to get some blood flow moving. Um, feel pretty good. Got to sleep until four today, ish or something like that. Um, but yeah, keeping on, keeping on, getting my toes and my nails done here in a couple hours, and Melissa's gonna make me pretty because this is ratchet, y'all. <laughs> Yeah, okay, I'm here to get my nails done finally in my toes. I just had lunch. I broke my fast at about two o'clock with tacos. I didn't get that on video because I was starving and I literally shoved them so fast in my face. I actually had one taco and a big huge chicken salad with green sauce and I had some chips. Not your typical peak week diet, but this ain't my first rodeo, meaning I've eaten at the same taqueria uh, off and on for the last few weeks so I know how the food responds to my body. I know what does and doesn't bloat me, so I did it and uh, yeah, all is well. And I need to shave my armpits, but I'm not going to invite you to that party. I'll do that by myself. Okay, let's go see Melissa and see what we can do with these scaggly ass. How awful were they? Uh, they're beat up. <laughs> they're beat up. Am I good? Am I good? Good thing you love I'm me. a little bit deeper. You got the blues for red. It's just like a nice deep. Yeah. How long have you been doing my toes and nails? Um, that would be aging us, and I'd rather not. <laughs> my son's 13. Remember, I was pregnant. He's going to be 13. I was pregnant, so it's been like 13 years. You kind of passed out, like almost felt like we had to call the ambulance that situation. I know. I mean, let's talk about it. Yep. Yep. I was preggers and passed out in the bathroom while you were doing my nails. Well, I wasn't doing your nails. Well, at that no, point. I we wasn't. Were trying to make sure I that we didn't dying call over the, the toilet. Ambulance or anything like yeah. that. Yeah. This time. So I will be entering the stage from. This is what we do. Protein pancake with blueberries. Chicken and rice. And who is this we're watching? Rudy Mancuso. Mancuso. Rudy Mancuso. We're bonding. What are we reading tonight? Um, either... Does, does anger protect you? What's the book again? The same how to book be, every night. How to be compassionate. It's important life By skills. By the Dalai Lama. <laughs> okay. 
read the world a chapter. Does anger protect you? Do you think it feels good to be angry? Um, I think it's useless. Why? Because it's not helping anyone. It's making situations worse. How's that? By... <laughs> Those muscles are going to be covered in some oh my gosh, body I'm fat so much. next week. So let's just enjoy the, the flex and the douchebaggery and not be angry about it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So does anger protect you? Mistake. Using anger to fight anger. It may be that if you remain a humble, honest, and contented person, some of your friends, neighbors, co-workers, or rivals will take advantage of you. Simply allowing this to happen may be counterproductive for you, your family, and others. However, anger cannot be overcome by 